Hello everyone and welcome to the annual tradition that I've done and I have a problem of starting annual traditions and then having to do them annually regardless of whether I really want to do them or not because I've made them an annual tradition. But I do want to do this one which is exactly why we're here and we're doing it. 2019 has been a pretty big year, a lot of things have happened this year, um, it's been a big one, uh, bigger than I remember it being. So going through this, editing all these pieces together, it's been um, it's been interesting seeing all of the moments, different streams, different uh, events that have happened across the lifetime of the community and think that just generally my life and for the channel. It's been it's been interesting to have a look back at everything, and I hope you guys will enjoy it as well. If you want to see all of the ones I've done in the past, because like I said, it's been an annual tradition and it's been an annual tradition since 2013. So you can go all the way back to 2013, 14, 15, 16, 17, and 18. 18 and watch all of the best bits highlights for every single year to get an insight into the channel if you want to check those out I'll link all of them on a card and in the description so go and check them out maybe you'll find a specific highlight that you really love and want to make a gif of I I don't know what I'm talking about I <laughs> we sound like I'm 45 and something that I wanted to touch upon in this little pre-intro section that didn't really fit as a highlights plus there wasn't really anything regarding it that I could include is that at the start of 2019 unfortunately we lost our dog Harvey uh, a dog that's been part of our family for a very long time he was 13 years old and I, and I cannot remember my life without him it's been very difficult having to live without him um, and I will always treasure those memories that I have with him so I just wanted to mention that because I think it would be wrong if I didn't talk about losing one of my best friends. And to lighten things up, go and like the Instagram post where I talk about his death, because I'm sure if there is an afterlife, he's up there, like, why doesn't my post have more likes, cunts? And that's a joke. That was a, that was a joke about a dead dog, um, to lighten the mood. <laughs> but thank you very much to Harvey for being the greatest pet, I could, not even just, just the greatest friend I could ask for. It's, it's, it's crazy, it's crazy the attachments that, 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 that humans get to animals, sometimes more so than humans. And I'm, I'm, I'm never gonna forget him and I, I'm always gonna love him very, very much. But let's get back on track and get into the highlights for 2019. I will see you guys in 2020. It's gonna be a big year. This year's been a big year and I am continuously so, so very, very thankful for all the support you guys give on, on video, streams, podcasts, the second channel, Horsey and Fox, Twitter, Instagram, everything. I am so thankful for the position that I, that I am in right now and I, I wouldn't be anywhere without you and also myself as well so you don't get all the credit some of it's me you know if i didn't make videos i wouldn't be here would i so i anyway let's get into the best bits boys thank you very much and i'll see you in 2020 bye bye there we go boys it is 2019 gamers 2019 how we've got elva here and we've obviously got my mum and harvey down here dad over here Hello everyone, how's it going? It's James here to talk about the future of As Always Entertainment moving into 2019. So James and I are so excited about everything coming up in the year ahead and we just wanted to make this video to talk to you guys and give you guys an update about what's going to be happening. We have a third podcast show as well coming up in 2019 called The Cinema Room. Now the Kill Connor Club five year anniversary is coming up this year in August. And me and Tyler have been talking about it for a while, but we think the best way to possibly celebrate this is to have a proper meetup in person. There we go, 2019, we're off to a brilliance. Welcome back, let's, let's go. I don't know, man. I, I could not tell you why, I don't. I don't think there's a, there's no reason the they're just they're just blind they're morons that's all it's got to be as there's no reason for it that I, I I don't know man I'm just glad you see through the I'm glad you see through I'm glad you're with me I, I appreciate it one of my oldest topics from back in the day was which Assassin's Creed game is the best a list ranking from worst to best in my opinion yeah it, my, my opinion not your opinion my my opinion. Oh, we've gone to a black screen? This really is like the old days. Hello? Hello? I've never really lingered here for long. Does this darkness just go on forever? Ah, uh, Roma. 
I don't think anyone ever expects to wake up one morning and find themselves caught in the middle of a war between two secret organizations. I know I didn't. But here I am. On one side are the Templars. I know you're there, Ezio! The Pope told me about you and your little group of assassins. They won't stop until every single one of us serves them. Literally. Fighting against them are the assassins. The liberation of Roma has begun. If you choose to flee, do so now. But if you choose to fight, stand with me against the Borgia. A group dedicated to safeguarding humanity's free will. Laius, Wakan Motlak, the Kulun Munkin. The wisdom of our creed is revealed through these words. Our belief in humanity rests at the heart of the Assassin Brotherhood. You are the leader of the Assassins now. Unite them, Ezio Auditore, and take back Roma. Chains will not hold me! Think about all that you've been through in the last month. 74 days is a long time. What if I can't stop the visions? How long before I start painting symbols on the walls? I know it's difficult, but try to compartmentalize, Desmond. Focus on the present. I am with you till the end. Find me in the darkness. Insieme per la vittoria! I will not die by the hands of man! 1419, 1420, 1421. What if they aren't dates? What's happening? I, I can't move. Let me go! Stay your blade from the flesh of an innocent. Hide in plain sight. Never compromise the Brotherhood. These are the tenets of our creed. May they guide you in life and in death. Assassin's Creed Brotherhood is the best Assassin's Creed game. Follow me. So we're going to go there with Derek. No. 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 You didn't. <gasps> um, I didn't intend for this, but I'm going to be away when this video goes out, so I thought, why not just fucking, duh, fucking talk about this? Legacy the First Blade has been on my mind since I played it. What I think is hilarious is I played the first episode and after finishing it I was like maybe I'll play the second one maybe I won't and then I was like oh, we've got it might as well maybe it'll be a laugh but I said like I've said what I'll say now we'll just have a laugh at it on streams but they say so Ubisoft I don't know if they're doing it on purpose now this is the thing are they do I don't know they've kicked up a fucking shitstorm of controversy with this and I'm going to talk about that later on I'll leave that till the end to go over the controversy surrounding Ubisoft and how they're homophobic and i thought well they've done everything now they fucked everything in the first episode there's nothing more they can do the worst stuff they could do is like you know give cassandra a hidden blade or um make darius directly reference an Ezio speech from assassin's creed 2 or uh, make darius do a leap of faith now can you guess which one they did because, let's be real, all three sound very, very plausible. It was the leap, it was the leap of faith. I'm assuming you played the, the DLC, they made, they made him do a leap of faith. Hello everyone, and welcome to the very first episode of the SpoilerCast podcast, The Cinema Room. I am one of your hosts, Tyler, joined from now and, as always, <laughs> by James. As always, how's it going, my friend? <laughs> Yeah, I don't like this. Yeah, so with excuse me, dogs have to be on a leash around here. Too many strays. <laughs> Sorry, dude. We don't do leashes. Well, the city does. An unleashed dog is liable to a fine. So uh, you're gonna fine our dog? Well, that's not very nice. Loitering is illegal too. Oh, and you guys are here, pricks. Right? right? Calm down, sweetie. We're allowed to visit the Christmas market. Our dog's not gonna eat you. It's not the point, Look at cunt. Him. You better watch your mouth. You punks are always causing trouble. This is a nice town, okay? Jeez. Someone needs to get laid. <laughs> He's out of pills. That's it. I'm calling the cops. Oh, God. 
He's gonna call the cops on us, fan. Are we supposed to be rooting for these two? Anyway. I mean, you like, oh, fuck the old Santa man. He just doesn't sake. like fun. <laughs> like, why? Whose Merry side Christmas. are we meant to be on here? What a weird fucking conflict. Parasites. I fucking agree with they him. Fight? They're cunts. I don't get why he yelled like that. We should kick his ass, Sean. What? Oh, I hate this game so fucking much. No. Better not get in. The game wanted us to be on their side, those cunts. What? Alright, if we end up with them at the end of this episode, I'm fucking this episode. I'm fucking there. this game off. I'm not playing a whole episode with those cunts. It looks like yeah, a Yeah, they did do it before the Storm and Captain Spirit. Yeah, I think they just missed stinks. the mark on this one. I'll show you around. No! 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 Oh, we're gonna have to play a three hour episode about fucking weed and stupid fucking homeless people. I don't. Oh, God, this is such a shit game. Nah, fuck. Oh, fuck this. I'm not fucking playing anymore. Episode one was alright. This was shit. I don't wanna play a game about weed and homeless people that I hate. Fuck it. Not playing anymore. That's it. It ends here. Hey guys, how's it going? And welcome back to another quick fire topic. So this week on Twitter, I asked you guys for a couple what? of questions and... What is this? <laughs> Hello everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to another episode of Quick Fire Topics. Anyways, thanks for watching and we'll see you all. Oh wait, next. wait, 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 James. I think there's another qu question. Look. I think. Hello everybody, how's it going? Welcome to Metro 2033. <gasps> no. No. Don't do me like that. The hell? I just have to see about that. No. No. <laughs> but of course they decided. Do you know what we need here? Do you know what we fucking need? Do you know what we really need? A spider level. This early on? Yes. That's what we need. I was thinking it too. We were all thinking. We were thinking, you know what? We has not been enough spiders. We need uh, more of them. A whole level dedicated to them. Oh, that's horrible. Oh, no. Oh, God. Oh, those- Oh, I can't listen to that. That is awful. That is a horrible sound. No, stupid little fucker. Why the fuck? Oh, Jesus. Oh, God! Oh, God! Oh, why is this happening? Look, let's be real here. They wouldn't put them in if they- If, if the fucking developers weren't very fucking aware that they're disgusting and horrible and terrifying. Keep close to me! Right? Like, that's why they're in the fucking game. So to say, like, oh, you're fucking, you're a little fucking bitch, because you're scared of it, it's dumb. That's the point. That's why they're here. They're meant to be scary. They didn't put them in because they thought, oh, they're well nice. We'll, we'll relieve them. We'll relieve them with, with some, some really nice things. Everyone, everyone loves spiders. Everyone fucking loves them. Kingdom Hearts 3 is a game many have waited over a decade for. It's a game that needed to achieve capturing the old magic that caused people to fall in love with these games the first time, but at the same time translate that and bring it two whole console generations forward onto the PlayStation 4. And they did that with ease. They can take your world, they can take your heart, cut you loose from all you know, but if it's your fate, then every step forward will always be a step closer to home. I really love Kingdom Hearts 3. I love it more and more with each passing day, and the more I think about it, the more I love it. This game may not be perfect, but it's certainly very special to me. In terms of story, it did everything that I hoped it would, and the same goes for atmosphere, tone, and soundtrack. Every character felt like themselves and was performed and written perfectly all these years later. It was so special to tie up the loose ends and end this narrative arc that has spanned 18 years. It's just a shame that some gameplay elements don't live up to its predecessors, and there are some narrative pacing issues and plot points that rub me the wrong way. But with that being said, the good definitely outshines the bad, and Kingdom Hearts 3 stands up as one of the best games I've played in recent years, and I really am thankful that we got to play such a brilliant game. 
I'm so excited for whatever comes next, and I'm more into Kingdom Hearts now than I've ever been, and I'm so glad to see everyone in the community seems to be as well. This franchise remains to this day my favourite of all time, and I will never lose the love I have in my heart for Kingdom Hearts. So we just had an epic battle, and as I've, as I've come over here, we've come across one of the many, many random locations in Assassin's Creed Odyssey. Which, with just, they, they all have different things to explore, different outcomes, um, and it's really, really crazy. Um, we're going to go over here and we're going to see exactly what will happen uh, when we enter this mysterious area. What storyline might we uncover as we enter? Oh. But well, that's fine, because the combat in this game is so fucking good. Wow. And here, of course, you can see the vast NPCs uh, watching a, a play. And as you can see, um, they all have shadows. And they aren't... They, they all have really good, uh, you know... Uh, walking patterns, they're all, this is all, this is... Is that one dead? It seems I've forgotten the most important thing. Ubisoft, they got to me. They've been fucking inside here. Making me say the things they want me to say. Because they know that if anyone is going to influence their sales, it's gonna be me. I can't believe I've let this happen. This must be exactly what they've done to everybody else. Nobody really likes this game. It's all Ubisoft in their heads. Oh, I've uncovered a great conspiracy today, boys. Um, and it's time we fight back. We'll let everyone know that they've been compromised by Ubisoft themselves. And we'll take the fight to them. Let's do it, lads. Let's take the fight to them. They're ruining everything. So I'll see you all on the battlefield. All the gamers with all their controllers. Stop this. Yeah, yeah, you know what? You know what? I, yeah, I agree with that. Let's, let's not even do this video. That's actually a good one. That's it. That's all we need. That's perfect. Great stuff. Sweet. Cunt. Hello everybody, how's it going and welcome back to a brand new series that I'm starting on this channel, combining three of my favourite things. Video games, rain, and jazz music. And that is, those are unequivocally my three favourite things. The premise of this series is that, is, is that me and you, the person listening, are sitting in a 1920s jazz club at night time while it's raining outside, talking about video games. Um, and you're mute, and I talk too much, and that's the premise of the whole show. Hello, everybody! Uh, every time I say, okay, here we go, what do you think I'm talking about? I'm waiting for an answer. Or I'll sever this fucking cunt's head. No! So we're playing Until Dawn today. I've never played this before but the series is things that Elbert has never played before but I've never played it before so there we go anyways let's go ahead and kick things off I suppose and I hate playing games with choices because everyone in the chat who's played the game multiple times ridicules me for not knowing the outcome of the choices of the game I've never played before of course I didn't know Steph, Let me show you I'm how to do it. I know how to do it, but I can't. You push do it down. Ah, oh, clever. Lift it up with the back. Okay, well, you could have told me that and then tried to let me do it. No, oh, I had to. Time. You asked me to do it next time, you can do it. It's just a cute oh, fucking. That scared me! Fucking Rami Mallet! You're an idiot. Fuck <laughs> off! Oh, <laughs> you scared me more than the fucking game. Fuck sake! <clears throat> fuck sake! Fuck sake! Oh, oh motherfucker! Go, go, go! Oh. Why'd they make a jump scare of a fucking bird? But anyways, let's go ahead and let's jump into this episode of Wishlist on Cyberpunk 2077. I don't want this. James, 
why did you do that? Why? Um, he it sounds like he's pacing back and forth outside the door. I would not be surprised. <gasps> oh my god! Oh no! Run! Oh my god, look miserable. <laughs> Hello, everybody. How's it going? And welcome Hi, to the very first PlayStation State of Play event, which is essentially the uh, PlayStation Nintendo equivalent Direct. to Nintendo Direct, or that's what it seems to be. Here we go. I'm gonna have to. If, it, if this if this isn't the last of us, I will be unhappy. Our travel time to Shanghai is 11 hours. 50. Hello. It's some VR stuff, I assume. I told you we should have taken the faster flight. I think the board prefers you wear a more oh. conventional suit to these company meetings. You can't outrun your past. Wait, what is this? Friday, tell me I didn't just. <gasps> Star Wars. Negative, sir. Wait, it's 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 yeah. Iron Man. Is it actually? Yay! It's Friday! It is Zion Man! All systems online. Is this a new thing? What the fuck? So much for a hero's welcome. Is this gonna be is this a VR game? Don't do this to me! Don't do this to it me! It is gonna be VR. It is fuck! Don't do that! Why would you do that? Now let's shift gears. Next okay. up, the team at Hello Games Who beams us an update from the world of Nintendo. Okay, No Man's Sky. This is great, Sony. Look at an upcoming game oh. from PlayStation's Worldwide Studios and developer Robot Entertainment. I can see a rabbit with a Here's fucking first like gameplay loot. Of Ready Set Heroes. So I know this is gonna this be is shit. I wanted more of this. I just did. Oh. <sighs> yes, buy X sequel. Buy X sequel. Where's the sunset, <laughs> James? It's a buy X sequel. Is this buy X sequel in the future? I'm sorry I ruined Concrete Genie. But, uh, okay, day is gone. Alright, this game right, that I'm we've seen. We've already seen too it. much of this, but okay, let's just watch Fair it. Enough. It looks like a Before Ubisoft go, game. Let's get one more update from the game in Mirror Realm Studios. Before we go, that's it. That's it. Fuck off. That was garbage. What the fuck did I watch that for? That's got to be one of the most disappointing con like like um, game conferences I've that ever was, seen. That was just that was twenty minutes long. Terrible. In the chat. Look at everyone in the fucking chat. They're like, no, that was terrible. Boys, I'm so sorry. I. <laughs> I had the mic for I had everything prepared, if I had the mic muted. Um, you just can't have a successful stream. So I was saying, hello everyone, we're playing Assassin's Creed 3 Remastered today. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and boot the, boot the fucking thing up. <laughs> Got a bit of... No, I'm not gonna say it, that would have been wrong. Um, Alright, go on. Open it. I neither of us are gonna like this. <laughs> but Elva does make her own look. What are we talking about then? Turns out Elva was the friends we made along the way. It smells nice. Let me smell. I quite like how it smells. Kind of smells like nail polish, but go Green. ahead. Caught me snooping. Oh, it does not smell good anymore. To see what okay. we're after. If they were aware of our current location, we would know. Though I will say this: it doesn't bode very well for kids. It's just sort of very aggressive. The thing about um, vodka is, I'm pretty sure it like strips your um your insides. That's what happens when you drink like a full bottle of it. If you it down strips a full your insides. Well, nobody would down a full bottle of vodka, babe. That's absolutely mental. I've not. <laughs> what the fuck? You punched me in the face. It was really gentle, to be fair. It was just your reaction. Watch your reaction on stream. But also, Haven oh. has a long torso. Haven <laughs> has a long torso. What, what does what? that mean? <laughs> like Connor's writing is fucking abysmal. Like from a protagonist standpoint, he's not written like a protagonist. He's written like a confused side character. Help me, Bob. I'm tired in Let's the alleyway. Let's go left. Way. Up here. Up. Oh my god, I hope I die, to be honest with you. Anyway, if you like that, then a like will be super appreciated, and let's go. <laughs> what the fuck am I doing, man? To the point where sometimes, other than the 4K resolution, they're looking like they were ripped right out of the PlayStation 2 era. They seem to have lost all shading, any shadows, and the textures just look flat and smooth instead of resembling actual facial complexion. It's honestly the strangest thing ever, and I don't know why they allowed this to happen. Oh, fuck, what is that? Who are you guys? Jesus Christ. Death to the oppressor now! What's this? Slavery? Sla- Not in my fucking town. You're free! You're free now! Go and- 
Run away! I saved you. You. Um. We. Oh. Uh, okay. They're, they're defective. Jacob, Edward, Arno, and my personal favourite assassin from the Assassin's Creed franchise, who's definitely an assassin, Alexios. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? <clears throat> this is so funny. This is so dumb. This looks so bad. This looks so bad. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, this is so funny. Oh man, this is brilliant. Oh man, this is so bad. This is so bad. So this canonizes that Layla, Layla never did anything bad as late as, as Cassandra. She couldn't have. No! Because she doesn't like being mean and horrible. Don't be afraid. We all die. But first... Tell me what I want to know. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is so bad. <laughs> Here it comes. What is that? What's going on? This is the end change. Scheduled for deletion. Hello, everybody. How's it going? Welcome back to the video. So today we are here. What are you doing? What is a man but the sum of his memory? So Assassin's Creed Unity, it says here. We are the stories we live, the tales we tell ourselves. Don't do this. Assassin's Creed Victory. <sighs> okay, here we go again. Empire! I'm saving you, idiot! Go! Go! <laughs> Hello everybody, how's it going, and welcome back to the Kill Connor Club podcast, episode 97. I'm one of your hosts, James, and I'm joined, as always, by Tyler. As always, how's it going, my friend? Pretty good, how are you? Yeah, you know, pretty good. That's excited, great. excited as always. That's great. Well, today we're joined by a very special guest that you've been asking for for a while now, but we've finally got him on, Robin Gaming. How's it going? It's going pretty good. What's up? Thanks for the invite. Thanks for coming on, man. Thanks for coming on. Yeah, no you've been requested. You've been requested so much Is over the so? past year. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. That's and James has been J James has been telling me he's like, yeah, this this guy Robin Gaming, he's, he makes amazing videos. We've got to get him on sometime. And I don't know why it's taken so long, but <laughs> I'm glad we're here right now. So it's yeah, it's awesome. Sure. Hello, all my fellow gamers, and welcome to another quick fire topics. It's been too long since I did one of these. The link to the playlist for Quickfire Topics will be in the description. If this is your first one that you're showing up to, there are a load of them, and they're all equally as high quality as the next. That might be a lie. Over at Loot Crate, they got in contact with me and asked if they could send me things so that I could talk about them in videos. And of course, I said yes. So now we've just got a box of shit. I mean, it's not sh It's really good stuff. All right, first up, of course, we've got a beautiful Elder Scrolls Online cap. Now, you all know how much I love caps and wear them continuously on a daily basis. I've never done this before. What is going on here? This is my new style. You're going to see me wearing this every single video because I really need this. And, you know, that's not a lie. Rise of the Tomb Raider, female empowerment. Great stuff. We'll put this on. I dropped that. We've got it on. I've changed the hat because I'm just showing you the variations. You can obviously wear hats this way. You can wear them the front way. Uh, you know, even a bit to the side, maybe a bit, you know, cultural, that's my, that might be cultural appropriation, I don't know, uh, we just, you know, if you're white, stick, stick to this way, you know, we don't want to upset anyone. We've got a uh, Diablo mug, so if you like drinking your tea or coffee out of a mug, like, you know, everyone does. Epic Gaming. One of these days I'll have professional lighting and we won't have this issue with shadows and one day. You would have thought by now, you know, I would have sorted it out, but apparently not. Um, just got a pig. That's, you know, obviously my priority. Let's go ahead and hop into the wish list for Ghost of Tsushima. <laughs> This 
past week has been Star Wars Celebration, the event that brings all Star Wars fans together, even people who liked The Last Jedi and people who didn't like The Last Jedi. I know. Wow, it does some crazy things, crazy time we live in. When I was a kid, I used to play video games all the time. I used to play all of the new ones, I used to play the older ones, just to enjoy them, just to have fun, just to connect with these worlds and characters and stories, and that created some kind of spark. A spark that became passion for video games and the video game industry. There have been plenty of franchises, from the Sega Genesis to the Xbox One and PlayStation 4. I've had so many games that I've loved and had incredible experiences with, but that experience that I had as a kid in modern gaming is becoming harder and harder to find. Games that you can play just to have fun, games that give you rich stories and characters that you can get heavily invested in, and gameplay that is satisfying and well made. It's becoming harder to just feel that kind of entertainment that comes specifically and only from video games. In recent years, from probably 2010 until now, we've had this increase of games trying to take more money from you, release copious amounts of DLC, bring out all these exclusive outfits and weapons and things that will help you in the game that you have to pay extra money for, season passes, gold editions, and even when they don't do these things, you're usually left with an experience that consists of completing repetitive objectives in an open world that has no need to be the size that it is. All of these things that are trying to squeeze more money from you and even things that are taking advantage of gamers. We're used to it. We're so used to it at this point that when you get something like God of War, it really, really takes you back. not really a character at all but then i guess like mm, yeah true because then you've got like characters oh wow i fucked this right up haven't i <laughs> you're standing there we go on a mountain <laughs> doesn't matter how hard you work in the game there will always be people who love hey <laughs> there's no way you're supposed to be doing no obviously i'm not supposed to be doing it i'm navigating my way down she's got blood all over <laughs> <laughs> oh my god she fell into the water and respawned over there yes i cheated the system now nah, this is a really good rpg though <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna show you exactly how to get the best armor in the Assassin's Creed Odyssey and to do that we have to load up our newest save so go ahead and do that yourself That is so worth it that dog. Stop laughing How did he just die? What the fuck? He's dead! What? What, what the, the fuck, fuck is that? What the fuck? That's just a joke. What on earth was that? Did that actually <coughs> happen? Did they actually do that though? We just helped a man, and then a bunch of metal fell on him, and then like she stood there, and then it like, fell on him again for like comedic effect, and then she told a dog that it was brutal. What the fuck? Oh my God. <coughs> this is not Real. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> the comedy! She's just she walking away like that, oh, it's alright. What the fuck? See the way he la- Oh my god, what? He <laughs> <laughs> just doesn't care! <coughs> <laughs> I knew they were gonna do that! Of course! <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
Hello everybody, how's it going? And welcome back to the Kill Connor Club podcast. This is the 100th episode. I'm one of your hosts, James, and I'm joined, as always, by Tyler. As always, how's it going, my friend? It's going bloody good. How are you? Very good. Very excited for today, for the 100th episode. Great. Um, So yeah, excited. Excited. Fantastic. And today we're joined by, of course, the four pillars, the other two that aren't us, which is Fishy and... Longhead Fox, how's it going, Hello. gamers? How's it going, boys? Yeah, it's going good. Great to be here once more. Once <laughs> more. Great. Um, and yeah. <laughs> you appear more uh, on this cool. podcast than your own channel, George. Honestly, yeah, I'll probably fucking do it. This <laughs> point. Yeah, 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 that's true. That's true. Yeah. <laughs> How much would it? Okay, great. Here's a question: How much would it cost? How much? What do you mean to fuck James Charles? Yeah, no. God. Uh, you know, dignity. let's change. How much would it cost? How much would it cost? Yeah, your dignity. How much would it cost <laughs> for you to get boned by James everything. Charles? Everything. He, he's the top. He's the <laughs> everything. top. Everything. <laughs> really? Uh, Bull? Yeah. It was a. Yeah. It was a. I understood the reference. Yeah. I'd have to get the fucking soul stone out of that if that was. Ah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Genuine yeah. question, James. How much? How much money would it cost? Honestly, oh. real money, real. I, I said this. I said this yesterday. This probably goes on. Where, where, where where right? so much money, you have to have a conversation <coughs> with Elva. Like Elva, this is how much money is on the table. Right? <laughs> yeah, look, it has oh, to I've be. I've obviously got to do this. It's got to be enough that it will set me up for life, so that I can quit everything and never have to work dude, again. I'm not gonna. I am not gonna. You're not gonna set up for life. I'm not gonna. I am not gonna fuck James Charles and then still have to work for my money. That's. I'm just no. It's not worth it. How much then for you? How much for you? Half a mil. Half a mil's fine. Easy work. That's been like set up for life though. That's like the same thing. Oh jeez. Half a mil. Maybe if you invest it, you could invest it. Take a bit of work. Australian. So two hundred thousand pounds. Yeah, that that nah. Okay, the, I mean, uh, the average. I don't the average know. No, I don't think person I don't know. spends about four million pounds in their it's, life. I think it's already two million. Laugh? So how long is it gonna last? Five minutes, it'll be right. You know what I mean? I get some five money, minutes. Whatever. Five five minutes. Part of the deal. Time of PTS fucking B. So are you? I'm not PTSD. I'm uh, not that self you... insecure. I've got some fucking confidence about me. I'm not gonna sit there and be like, yeah, my but... life is over. I got fucked up the ass, but I also got two hundred thousand pounds. <laughs> yeah, it's are you fucking serious. Is James Charles a top or a bottom? Like. Wait, what is that? What are we getting here? What are we getting into? James uh, Charles is getting into you. That's yeah. So. Sure. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Sure. Have a positive attitude, guys. Come on. <clears throat> gonna, yeah, it's gonna cost a lot of money. No one's gonna enjoy this. I'm gonna have to go to my happy place and like think about like the Avengers or something. I don't know. <laughs> 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 <Avengers. laughs> <laughs> 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 just think about Captain like... America or yeah. James Charles. He's fucking <laughs> yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. Hey, I, I would I would allow it, but just out of respect, not because I'd enjoy it, just out of respect. You know what I mean? Like... Someone put in the comments, you wouldn't get this on a Luma stream, and he's dead right. You, you would. That is such a classic. You wouldn't get this on a Luma stream. <laughs> Only the four pillars provide this kind of content. <laughs> Imagine Luma <laughs> streaming, talking about how much it would take for him to fuck James Charles. <laughs> <laughs> he's oh, oh he's far too professional for that. Jesus Christ! And he now that, that shit one. is out of the way, let's talk about some Assassin's Creed then. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> you guys play. That's you guys play the this. new quest. You played that one really really <laughs> bad day. <laughs> peace. <laughs> oh, I love that. Don't oh, say that peace. So Don't say <laughs> peace. Thanks for having me on. Brilliant. Uh, see you later, everybody. Right. I mean, I mean, it's it is canon. I, if, you, if this game's going to be any good, it's got to abide by the the law of the the universe. So. Without further ado, let's hop into the wish list for Harry Potter Magic Awakening. What the fuck is going on? <laughs> She fucking ranked on like crazy!
Hello everybody, this is something new that I'm trying today. Okay, so we've just picked Elva up, she's here now obviously. Um, we're going back home, um, and then we're gonna head straight away out. So, that's Go. gonna be great. Go, are we revealing what we're doing? I've already told them, but you can tell them again if you like. We're gonna see our house which is just going to be like a murky muddy messy mess i can't wait it's raining as well so that means it's going to there's going to be mud everywhere it I will really be such wait. a mess but it'll be nice right here is our one. We look absolutely ridiculous, but I wanted to show you it. This is, this is it right here. Um, but here we are, this is, this is it. Um, our actual one. There's, there's the inside. I hope it's just as moist as that the day we move in. <laughs> oh shit. I never sat on my fucking grabber. I've never been more devastated. I've had it. It's I've had it 25 so minutes and you broke it! Ethan, look at the bottom. Ethan, look at the bottom. Ethan. Oh my oh god! My god Ethan. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, oh my, my god. god. <laughs> 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 oh, oh my god. <laughs> That's amazing. Who did that? Oh my god. I think I've taken it down immediately. There? That's so good. <laughs> I might have taken it off immediately. He's like out of panic. Oh Don't my god. Don't so good. Oh. Oh. Oh, Star Wars? Oh, wait, whoa, wait, what? What the fuck is this? Lego Star Wars! <gasps> it is! <gasps> it's Lego oh my Star God. Wars! Wait, whoa, whoa, wait, what? Are they remaking it? Holy fucking shit. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> Oh my god! Oh my fucking god! That is brilliant. Oh my god! Oh my god! I never thought they would do this. That is so fucking sick. I'm so fu- Oh my god, man! This is you, Ennis. Oh, oh, he's got the. Oh, look at his armor. <laughs> oh, look at him. He look. Fuck yes. I'm so. Look at that art style. It's so fucking beautiful. No, we need a fight. <laughs> oh, it's so fucking good. Oh, look at him. Oh, yes. Yes, holiday 2020, that fucking soundtrack. Oh, Halo. They're showing fucking more. I chose you because you were special. Oh, Cortana. Oh. Right. Oh my. No, you're staying in there, son. I gotta go back upstairs and edit after this. <laughs> Oscar loves it. Oscar, this is your favourite thing, isn't it? I get you. I get you. I get you. I get you. Oh, you get you. <laughs> Without further ado, let's proceed with this episode of Wishlist being for an Assassin's Creed 1 remake. Hi or lower, Alva. What? The game where you pick whether something's higher or lower. That's not the game, is it? Oh! <laughs> Fucking hell! That was right in my eye! <laughs> Wilbur! Jesus! <laughs> Jesus Christ, man. Next. <laughs> Penis. I'm surprised that's not higher. Welcome home on the front of it. You see that? You see that? That's really cool, isn't it? Guess what it is? The face of the boys. Fallout 4. But, I've noticed. That is a woman. Out of my sight. 
You should listen to her, you know. What the fucking shit? Impossible. No. Forbidden from entering the city. No. God. No. You're no. no. You skipped important dogs. No. I didn't skip anything. Where are you? Not from that section anyway. Ah. Clearly the Isu artifact has had At least it's the correct voice actor. You're going mad. <laughs> Why does he look like that? Most impressive. I knew if anyone could discover this place, it was <laughs> His voice acting's pretty decent because he's an actual voice actor. Are we gonna kill Ossoberg? Are we gonna kill Ossoberg with the staff of Hermes? What the fuck is going on? Lost. The fuck? <laughs> Fucking hell, Layla. She won't kill me. Oh my god! You killed the only remaining good character in Assassin's Creed Monday. Well done, Layla. That was the metaphor for Layla killing Assassin's Creed. Yeah. Still fucking alive. What is going on? Get Why hasn't she here. killed Otto Berg yet? He's a Templar. Are you safe? We fought. We passed out back into the Animus. There are a lot of people to say goodbye to. Layla, what the fuck are you talking about? Why is nobody asking her if there's something wrong? This bleeding effect got to you? You just said you need to say goodbye to people that died hundreds of years ago. Like, the, Layla, Layla, are you okay? Is that it? Oh my god, I don't like this. I just go, I'm gonna cry. This is Assassin's Creed. Oh my god, this is bad. Oh, Jesus Christ. That's what we need. And it would also raise the stakes and make it way larger on scale. Is, you know... It's, it's less of fighting these individual monsters and now it's taking on the whole, sort of, this whole other world. That would be far more interesting. And why is it just under Hawkins? Why the <laughs> fuck is <laughs> it just know. under fucking Hawkins? I assume it's not. I assume that's where, like, the the, the No, James, reality that's splits. where it is. No, you idiot. That's the doorway? That's where the doorway no, you, is. No, you idiot. <laughs> that's where it is. It's Justin Hawkins, obviously. Okay, that's fair. Even the Russians had to build a base under Hawkins they did to open to it that. up. They did have to do that. They have you ever seen anywhere else, you right. fucking idiot? <laughs> nah, you're an idiot. So huh? what happens when you get to the edge? <laughs> what happens? Is there a, maybe it's a big floating island? It's flat. You just fall, man, and then you're back in Hawkins. <laughs> <laughs> you're always in Hawkins. You can't escape. That's what's going to happen and, to Joyce when she's trying to leave. I was, I was about to say, she's driving to Hawkins, then it comes back, <laughs> welcome back to Hawkins. You know that sign? It's like, thanks for staying and visiting Hawkins. Come back soon. And then she just keeps driving straight. And then it's the sign of, welcome to Hawkins. She's like, wait, what the fuck? And then she realizes her whole life's a show. It's like the Truman Show. And her whole fucking life is in Hawkins. Just an elaborate, like, documentary about her life. Oh, about no Joyce. <laughs> about Joyce. Every so often, they just throw some fucking weird monsters at her and see how the schizophrenic <laughs> deals with it. She's she's killed two husbands, <laughs> two boyfriends. She's killed two boyfriends. Guys, we can't give her another love interest. They've both literally died. <laughs> like she's legitimately killed them both. Like, oh ugh. man, <laughs> that's fucking great. Like oh, no Jesus one's gonna Christ. take the acting job after two of them have died. No one's taking it. There's. Have you ever seen anywhere else? No. <laughs> there's Hawkins and there's upside down Hawkins. <laughs> And then when oh, they no. tried to notice in the edit, when they left Hawkins, like, thanks for visiting Hawkins, it just cuts back to when they were still in Hawkins again. And oh, was, my God. Ended. That was so fucking weird. Yeah, that, that was, was such, such a weird, weird edit. editing choice. What a weird, what a weird I, edit. I, I, like, I let's like, have the goodbyes. Wait, let's have them leave. And then let's end it, though. Let's come back before it happens. <laughs> and then end Hawkins. It. <laughs> <laughs> because you can't you, you don't leave Hawkins you don't leave Hawkins it is weird and that she's famous and people like are in love with this girl and I'm like hey she's 15 huh would you not oh you mean adults are in love with her yeah well have you what seen do you Drake? mean <laughs> <laughs> oh god <laughs> but do you know the funny thing is like Winona Ryder is such a joy is so Joyce like she's such a schizo like I'd almost believe they like tell her that this is really happening <laughs> Like, we're not a writer, the actress. <laughs> and everyone they calls her Joyce, a... and she's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. okay. And they're like, why is Hopper yelling <laughs> at the Golden Globes? 
Where's Where's Bob? <laughs> oh God! <laughs> this, this is an Hawkins. <laughs> <laughs> yes it is Joyce remember you can't leave this is the mall this is this is our this is our film podcast this is so fucking stupid <laughs> Trying to convince her that it's real. to watch this show seriously <laughs> ever dumb. again it's a fucking stupid show <laughs> for Nona Ryder and a bunch of kids that are kids but they look like adults <laughs> oh god I'm just gonna have to put an end to this if you like Odyssey that's cool I can't stop you and I don't want to if you found it as a game you can love and spend hundreds of hours in I appreciate that and I hope you continue to but I need to make this video. This DLC, both DLCs, this entire game, every piece of content included is the strangest patchwork mess of RPG mechanics, of an MMO approach, microtransactions like a mobile game, vague Assassin's Creed lore which tries to connect to the previous games enough only to justify its existence and sell copies to Assassin's Creed fans. Its repetitive gameplay plagues every single quest, animation and dialogue serve only to make a joke of everything, the tonal inconsistencies throw me every time. Are we meant to take this seriously? Seriously? Is this a serious story in the Assassin's Creed universe? Is this a joke in the Assassin's Creed universe? Is this making a mockery of Assassin's Creed lore? Or is this trying to use it the best that they can but they don't know what they're doing? It's all of these things. And none of them. I wanted one last time to pour what passion I had left for this franchise I once deemed my all-time favourite into a piece of writing. And so, I guess, if this is the last time I'm going to talk about this in a video, in a constructed manner, outside of tweets here and there, discussions on podcasts, or drunk rants on live streams, I might as well make it worth it. I loved Assassin's Creed. I love what it stood for. Its themes, its complex narrative, its interweaving of characters, stories, and settings. I love the music, the power it held, the fact I could feel so emotionally tied to these characters simply through music, the mythos of the ones who came before, their ties to the war between the Assassins and the Templars, the mysterious pieces of Eden and the temples from this old civilization woven with the creed of this ancient order of Assassins that fought against tyranny and injustice, the way you could just embody that role of somebody working from the shadows to serve the light. The fact that the opposing order was never plainly evil. The grey areas for both orders were incredibly interesting, and how that linked to the narrative of the first Civ was even more so. The world's history felt real and grounded. We could explore these worlds and be immersed in their environment, whether it be the harsh, hostile world of the Third Crusade, or the colourful tropics of the Caribbean. Maybe the central city of Rome and the conflict that came with being in such a place, or the deserts of ancient Egypt brought to life and turned into its own character. I can't ever leave behind what Assassin's Creed did for me. As much as I say and proclaim that I don't care, it's not true. Of course I care about what I had, about what it meant. I care about what they do wrong, I care about the lack of care displayed by the company that owns the brand that I loved, of course I care. But I think it's fair to say that although I care about what I once had, and that I care about how much this franchise meant to me, I don't hope anymore that it'll get better, that somehow it'll resurrect because that's ridiculous, it's long dead. I don't even necessarily want good games, I think it's fair to say that I don't care what they do. It's more that I miss what was, I miss the old direction, the old purpose, I miss Assassin's Creed, and this really is a message to all of you, to Ubisoft and to myself. Although Assassin's Creed had been flip-flopping for years, it never quite felt as ruined as it does now. 
I never felt the way that I did after finishing the final Odyssey DLC because not only did Odyssey dismantle the brand, it made a mockery of it. It showed blatant disregard for a franchise that I loved. It took the lore and used it for contrived storytelling mechanics. It used iconic lines of dialogue as cheap fan service for no reason. It told a vacant story in a shallow world to make money and nothing more. Not only is Odyssey not a good game, not only does it fail to be a strong RPG or a quality game in its own right, it's worse than that. Because... Well, because it's Assassin's Creed Odyssey. Thanks for watching. Hello everybody and welcome to the video people have been asking me to figure the fuck out and make for months at this point, ever since we announced we were doing a community meetup. Bloody hello, everyone. How's it going? You alright? Uh, yeah, I'm alright. Yeah. I'm yeah, tired. Say hello? So yeah, hello. Uh, hey, this is just so hello. fucking weird. I'm yeah, here. this when is strange. Isn't seeing it? you do a stream, I'm like, uh, it's you. <clears throat> it's you doing it. But now I'm it's not, not just me. Yeah, it's me yeah. as well. I'm also here. Uh, I'm James and Nando's. Take take me to Nando's. I've never I've, I've never seen the appeal. It's just chicken, right? Why would anyone want that? Oh my god. Oh my god! Get in, son! We did Get it! In. Well, okay. I did it, but, you know. Yeah. Tyler? Yep. Today's a good day. Yeah, it is a good day. I'm excited. I'm a little nervous, actually. Nervous? Oh, I don't know what's happening. I have no idea what I'm doing. You guys just said you're abducting me. It's the game of... It's bad! Yeah, do you have escalators in Australia, Tyler? No, I've never seen one before. Wow! <laughs> Do you have shopping centres in Australia? <laughs> 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 they cut all their food. Yeah, you said that the kangaroo markets, you know? <laughs> <laughs> it's time to touch the express lift tower. <laughs> Got it. I've never done it's that before. Epic parkour. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you see that? That was epic parkour. I'm an assassin. It feels like dead dreams. <laughs> it feels like a place where hope goes to die. <laughs> Tyler. Tyler. Look where we are. We're in Hawkins. Oh, oh no, 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 no. It gets to the Leaving Hawkins, Hawkins come against it. What a lie. What a lie. It's not possible. Yeah. We went to KFC and now we're like an hour late to our own meetup. You what? It's down here, is it? Yeah. A lot of members. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna, just gonna upload it. Yeah, that's, that's part, part of the deal. Just not committing crimes. Even like in the first scene, I still made a shit short film. Like, I never made a good one. Oh, So I just want to say like walking in here seeing everyone here today, one of the most like humbling experiences of my life. So truly thank you guys so much for being here. I know we all appreciate it as the pillars. Um, and to see this community come together and straight away everyone's chatting, everyone's clicking, and, and it's just super easy, and, you know. Um, I just want to spend the day, you know, with us walking around having a chat to everyone, um, getting to know you a bit more in person and uh, yeah, thanks for coming guys. Hello everybody, how's it going and welcome back to the Kill Connor Club podcast, episode 106. Yes. I'm one of your hosts, James, what? and I'm joined, as always, by Tyler. Was it one as, as always, how's it going, my friend? It's going really good, thank you very much. How are you doing? Yeah, very good, very All good, right. excited. Great, and for episode 106, oh. we're joined by... Uh, Ethan. Fishy, hello. Fishy. Hi. How's it going? I'm just, I was just about to say, didn't we do 106? It's 105. 105. It's 105. Oh, 105. Okay. oh so, okay. Okay, so I am right. Sorry, I'm confusion. <laughs> Hi. It's okay. It wouldn't it's be classic if I was on a fucking I'm so time. worried about your microphone, of how close you are to your mic, that's I all. I fucking love my microphone. <laughs> and, and of course, we're joined as well by George. Oh, yeah, for he's my grip house, it for yeah. my life. Yeah. <laughs> George Four can't pillars. wait till we all leave. He's just like, I just want to sleep. Oh, I want to. I'll probably look fucking terrible right now, but I mean, 
Nah. It is what it is. I've never actually had a podcast before where you've had to be conscious of what you're doing and what you look like. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> this is the yeah. first time. So, well, oh, no, not the same with us. We've sort of done video once, but, you know. It's yeah. a bit weird. I've never been... Oh, my back's killing me. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> you've been leaning over there. Fucking hell, hell out, man. Bro. Hey, bro. Woo! Why don't you just move this forward and kind of lean a bit onto the table then, mate? Thanks. We'll bloody see you next time. That's it from seven. Us. And that's it. We'll see you later, boys. Fair yeah. Yeah. Game on. Bless. Okay. Right, who wants to... Who wants don't to... say peace. <laughs> <laughs> boys. Oh, no. It's log time. We got Ethan Woodgate. Hello. We got all the boys. Hey, guys, what's that empire? What's this? <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> boys. Is this in the log? This is in the log. You're right, Tom. Alright, log boys. Here we are. Here we go. The lads. The lads. Help me, Bob. I'm bully in the alley. Bully in the shimbola. I'm not on that show. I'm bully in the alley. Help me, Bob. I'm bully in the alley. Bully down in Shimbona. The rooks. No, that's not what I'm saying. Right. No, <laughs> not the main. We're here for the bitch from calm. <laughs> oh god. Alright. <laughs> I'll see you over on the fucking train. It's Queen's house. She's in there. How do you know if the Queen's in the Buckingham Palace? Is it when the flag is above the thing? When the flag is like when a the flag cover is, or something like that. I thought it was when the flag is flying on top. I mean, she's a. Is she in which there? case, our assassination can begin. Bloody hell. Pillars. Assemble. Do you think they could just be dying from gaming too much? Get out. Load Kingdom Hearts 3. Ooh. And th this is George's first ever time seeing the main menu of Kingdom Hearts 3. It is. It is. I've never booted the game. You've never, you've never heard Dearly Beloved? To be fair, I haven't even put the disc in my computer. If you don't fucking... Computer, fucking <laughs> 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 right, are you ready? If you don't fucking cry, I'm going to be upset. I probably won't. It takes a lot to make me cry. I'm turning up the volume. You ready for this? We're not. Listen, down that. Go on. <laughs> Get drunk and cry. Down that. Loaded. Down that quick. Hello. Hello, everyone. How's it going? I'm gonna turn this fan down. Actually, we both said hello in exactly. Hello. Hello. <laughs> oh God! It's not going. <laughs> it's not going. <laughs> Fucking hell! I'm gonna... Oh, you fucking dodged that shit! Yes! yes! Fucking yes! yes! Fucking yes! Fuck yes! Yeah! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Kingdom Hearts! Yes! The title oh. is it. It should be a quite a classic Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> oh! <laughs> <laughs> What did you just do? <laughs> Look at that, Kingdom Hearts 1. With this music, it's so fucking good. Oh, I'm gonna fucking cry. Oh, Kingdom Hearts 3, man. I fucking hate Sora's key. <laughs> <laughs> I fucking hate Sora's, Sora's oh. key. Yes, you can break it. Oh! <laughs> Fuck you! Oh, oh my god! Are you ready for this? Are you ready for this? I'm ready to prepare for hell, son. First two! Fuck off, Lydia, you shit. You could just shit at the game. Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, easiest fucking boss ever. Yeah, Lydia, yeah. Mmm, mmm. But you got egg all over your face. No, you cunt! <laughs> <laughs> yeah! Yeah! There we go! Okay. Say so 
Seven is down. Oh! <laughs> yes. yes! We got... Oh, first, first try. <laughs> we were lying on Goofy. What is going to, on right to now? To do our dirty work. <laughs> yes. Another take your power down. Look that fills so me with confidence when that happens. Look so. <laughs> <laughs> we did it, we did it, we did it, we did the wrong to stay about. Oh, I've got him. Yeah, we got him. Yeah! Woo! We did it! I'm getting wheel! That is it. <sighs> Damn it, wait, look at this, look at this bit. <laughs> wait. Wait, wait, wait. This bit, watch this, when it switches back to aqua. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I can't. I can't. I can't breathe. Wait, wait. There it comes, here it comes, here it comes. <laughs> My face. Oh, God. <laughs> My face hurts. I can't see. Well, okay, this is a proposition for you. Would you want to do your first time playthrough on Horsey and Fox? Yeah, I don't mind. I'm Obviously, fine. when there's cutscenes, when there's any story, we can yeah. just be quiet and pay attention. Yeah, that's fine. Would you want to do it? Yeah. Yes. Let's do it then. So everyone can see my initial reaction to Kingdom Hearts 3. On all the Fox. Let's do it. On like the if we... condition. Okay. <laughs> we have to fucking get mum and dad to buy us McDonald's. <laughs> oh, yeah. Of, but of course, it's Horsey and Fox. Of course, we have to do McDonald's. Obviously. Fucking go. This should start. Let's go. Let's game with the game ears. Hello, everybody. We're live. How's it going? And we're live. What are you doing? Hello. Sorry, I was drinking. <laughs> How the fuck are they going to make Ray go evil, though? So In each. You get the game of boy here. The yellow one. Looks like no one wants the yellow one. The trombone, flute, cello. cello. Stinger? What does that say? Singer? No, I don't know what that's. Yeah, what singer. It must say singer. Is that what it says? Yeah, it looks yeah, like Yeah, singer. Actually. Conductor. Yeah, conductor. Violin. violin French, French horn, horn. Tuba. And. Tim <laughs> timpana. <laughs> I don't know. What it is. <laughs> Our favourite instrument. <laughs> the timpani. The timpana. <laughs> You got the timpani. Timpani? That is what it is. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is a timpani? The thing is, though, many people think that that's actually the characters' names, but it's not. It's the, yeah. No, 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 it's the characters' names. It's not the names of the fucking instruments they play. <laughs> his name is timpani, and his name is violin. Where do you guys we think we should start? <gasps> the musical toads. Oh my god, yeah, I there. forgot they were in this. We can go and see Timpani in real life. We can go and fucking is, look at Timpani. <laughs> we there he is at the top my there. entire life. It's him. It's Timpani himself. <laughs> <laughs> How do we go selfie um, mode? Yeah, there you go. Boys, just oh, met shit. Timpani. <laughs> <laughs> it's Timpani. Oh no. Amazing. I'll press L1. Yes. Let him funny lol. There you go. There we go. It's been tweeted. Jeez. This is the proper Kingdom Hearts content. I would have put more highlights here. Sorry, just interjecting that just kind of came out of nowhere. But I was wary that I'd be spoiling Kingdom Hearts 3 for people that are still catching up with the series, and I didn't, I didn't need to do that. So if you want to watch them, go watch the Horsey and Fox KS2 streams. They're fucking brilliant. We're doing Remind when it comes out, but. I, I, I didn't want to do it anymore, but Tim Parney had to go on. Anyway, back to it. I don't know what led me to owning this game, but I'm so glad that I did. And that game is The Saboteur. Also, if you punch cows enough times, they explode into slabs of meat. And whoever did this, thank you so much. This is amazing. Hello everybody, how's it going? And welcome back to the Kill Connor Club podcast. This is episode 108. Uh, I'm one of your hosts, James, and I'm joined, as always, by Tyler. It's going nice, nice and good. How you doing? Ah, 
good stuff. Well, today we're joined um, by guests that we should have had on last week, but unfortunately had to postpone the podcast. Um, I'm sure we'll talk about what happened there. Uh, or maybe we won't, and maybe we'll gloss over it. But we're joined by the Conversations lads, Eddie and Sheps. How's it going, gamers? <laughs> Where, oh, everyone in the there. chat is saying they can't hear anything. Oh, is, shit, everyone, is everyone fucking hear. with me, or what's going on? Did you oh, change no. the audio? Is that why, you know, the audio with, um... Audio? James is just laughing it by himself. It should be fine. I can no. see the audio. I'm so confused. What the fuck is going on? Okay. I'm really, really Whoa. happy. Whoa. <laughs> what the fuck awesome. is going on? Hold up. I don't understand. Everything's set right. What? Why is this happening? I can see oh, the... I can see the desktop audio. Everything's fine. There we there go. We go. I didn't fine. touch anything! Typical I don't game. understand. Okay, you hang lose? on. Hold up. Here we go. Let's just let's just fucking do it again. Let me just do the intro start again. again. Right, start here we go. From back. the top. Okay, <laughs> here we go. Hello, everybody. How's it going? And welcome back to the Kill Connor Club podcast. This episode 108. I'm Johnny. I'm James. I'm Johnny. All right, everybody. How's it going? Today, we're... we. Okay, no, hang on. Today, everybody, we got the keys to our house. At the minute, we're in the car. This is, we're driving to McDonald's because... We're hungry, but You're we thought we'd talk to you a little bit and vlog it, and then we'll take you into our house. Oh, well, you've ruined that entrance thing, Elva. Oh, sorry. Good job. Okay, are we ready, Elva? This is the hallway. Currently, it's obviously it's echoey, there's nothing in here, but currently, we've got just a bowl painted down. We're gonna figure this out, we'll do that. Here we go, this is the living room, boys. There's Elva. Here we go. It's pretty, it's pretty spacious, more so than I remember it being. Yeah. We're gonna have the TV here. Yeah. Um, uh, this is where we'll have like the router and everything for the internet and things like that. This is where we'll so have for the here. Corners, so, so we can make it. Currently we have this on the floor, but that's all right. That's, that's fine. Well, how much space though is, is <clears throat> big enough for me to <laughs> Hello everyone, how's it going? Welcome back. Um, this is the last video that I will ever make in this room with this setup, with this backdrop, which is insane. I started YouTube eight years ago and I started on a PC that we had downstairs. Um, and then at the end of 2011, I got a laptop and I started making videos in here. Um, and for eight years now, I've made videos in this room. And so to me, although it's just my bedroom it's also more than that uh i think this setup that i've, I've grown over such a, a long period of time and this room hold a lot of uh, a lot of weight for, for the channel um if you go to any of my videos if you go five years back if you go six years back seven years back and you look i'm making videos in here and it's sort of you know it's aged with me and it's been part of the journey is when someone watches your video part of that video is the backdrop and since i've been making videos with a camera on me i've been here uh, it's changed a lot over the years, there's a lot of things I've done. We've had milestone videos, we've had setup videos, we've had Unity, Speculation, Syndicate, Empire, Origins, talking shit about Odyssey. We've had Q&As, Quickfire Topics, we've had unboxings, we've had countless streams, the E3 streams, Horsey and Fox. The first stuff that me and Elva ever did together, me and Luke doing fucking hot sauce and playing FIFA. The Advent Calendar videos, playing Minecraft. The countless amount of second channel vlogs where I'm just wandering around talking absolute nonsense. The first stream and the videos that me and Tyler ever did together in person. All of those things were, were done here. And it feels like a big thing. It feels like a big change to me because, like I said, part of the channel is this room. It is this setup and it's pretty fucking crazy that I will never again make a video here sitting in this chair at this desk in this room with this backdrop. I'll never stream here again, and it's insane. But it's time to move on. We get so many games these days, so many, and the ones we truly remember, the ones we take with us for years upon years later, are few and far between. Sure, you can enjoy plenty of games every year, but those truly special ones, the ones that speak to us on a more emotional level, the ones that push the industry forward, the ones that care about the fans of the series and do everything in their power to make it one of the best the art form can be, are few and far between. Red Dead Redemption, to me, is the pinnacle of the art form that is video games. When the time comes, you go. What about loyalty to, to everything? I wish things were different. But one else should change. 
You're my brother. We're playing a few of the scariest games ever made, um, <laughs> in my honest opinion. Um, so many scary games out there, I'm too scared, let's not do it. No, we have to do it, we have to endure it, Oliver. <laughs> we'll be okay, I promise. Um, okay. And we're going to get into our very first spooky game. Um, so what, what, what's everybody doing on this, uh, this here Halloween? Yeah, here we go. Can you please well, turn it back? Well, I'm oh black for firewood, at least. No, we've got to get through it all, but it's Halloween. Ah! Jay! 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 What? I make my own look, Liam. Alright, I'm done with this. James, oh James, you did it, didn't you? You hit a hundred K. That's incredible. Hey guys, it's Nick from the Creed here. And I just wanted to say that I don't know if I can think of anyone that deserves hitting a hundred K more than me. So fuck you. You fucking did it, didn't you? But seriously, thank you so much for 100,000 subscribers. Even saying that out loud is like, what is going on? 100,000 subscribers, what the fuck are we doing? It was something I always wanted to hit but never thought was necessarily possible. And the fact that I've done it is just, I don't know what to say. I can't put it into words, guys. Thank you so much. And of course, thank you to everybody that has ever watched a video, subscribed, liked a video. You're all incredible. Thank you. From the bottom of my heart, thank you, every single one of you. This means so much to me to be where I am right now. And like I said, my channel is in the best place it's ever been. I am the happiest that I've ever been. This community is thriving and it's the best that it's ever been. I can't wait to see where we go, to see what happens and to just keep pushing further and doing more. I have so much motivation to keep going and I just wanna grow. I just wanna do more and do the best that I possibly can because that's all that I know how to do. Thank you all so, so much and I fucking love you all. Thank you and I'll see you next time. Goodbye. Let's start the bit of game, the bit of stones. <laughs> Hello everybody, hello everyone, and welcome to the 100,000 subscriber stream, not the subscriber mm -hmm. video, that'll be a separate thing. We're both here, how hello. you doing Alva? And we are five minutes late in true Lazer's fashion. Um, but we're here nonetheless, so that, you know, that's better than anything. We're gonna be uh, doing a bit of gaming here and there. It's not for lack of trying, therefore, technically he's an incel, because it's yeah. not voluntary, it's but, involuntary. Yeah, you're right. So technically, exactly, but he's not, is he? But that's not what I meant, because yeah, I'm not exactly. saying how sad is it. Yeah, like, but he's not, though, is he? So, because that's not what the fucking word actually yeah, means like in 2019. Yeah, exactly. I mean, to me, it's it's someone who is very hateful and abusive. Hates women. women and blames, yeah, and blames this invisible force. And, and blames women for not liking them and then hates yeah. on them. So it's really just hates. like... Hates. Epic hater. Well, you know what I mean, though. This is what it's Leap true. of faith. My mother thinks I'm game. My father, let's just say Christmas dinner is going to be interesting. That's the best thing ever. My father, what was it? No, it was, yeah, it was my mother. Um, <laughs> my mother thinks I'm a gamer. My father, well, let's just say Christmas dinner is going to be interesting. Oh, but you're doing this all wrong. Um, Jess, if you were gay, what would be your ideal man? <coughs> Jamie Burns. And what would be your type? Jamie Burns. No, what would be your type, James? I couldn't like, tell you, Elva. I couldn't tell you because guess what? 
don't know. Well, I could tell you my ideal type of girl would be. What would it be, Elva? <laughs> no, it would be you, but as a girl. So basically the same. <laughs> ideal girl would probably be like, like Amelia Clark. Or Amelia Clark is not a girl, she's a woman. Woman, you know what I mean though. Amelia Clark or Chrissy Costanza. Nah, she's too like eh. No Elva, you say Chrissy Costanza. Um yeah, probably Amelia Clark. She's like, too like, like what? She's just too like cute to see. I'm like just be a, a Yeah but that's person. because Elva, you're straight. So obviously you don't like that, do you? You want a masculine but a masculine oh, woman. Oh, no, I mean, I think oh she, she is really cute, but I think I'd rather <coughs> be like a friend. Exactly, because it's because she's more feminine. Well, so to get the maximum XP in Mario Party, first you got to go to the bit of stones that is in the final map that you're going to unlock. And once you get there, you want to make sure you go around in circles over and over again for at least five and a half hours. And then afterwards, you're going to get all the coins that are in the game. And when you do that, you're going to be able to brag to your friends that I've got all the coins and you don't have all of the coins. So, <gasps> and when you tell them, you make sure you tell them your raptor told you exactly what to do. I'm not undermining James in any way. I just admitted my YouTube crush, XD. I'm not undermining Elf anymore. You're anyway. my, you're my mean... YouTube crush, Elva. Oh, do that. It's really nice. Thank you. Thank you very much. This is very nice. This is really this nice. This is how you get a bit of stones from your girlfriend. <laughs> Oh. Listen guys, this is how you get the maximum XP from your girlfriend at all the interactions oh possible in the game. First this you gotta scratch so your nice. head. You no, it, it's not the scratching, it's <coughs> the lifting up of my roots like that. You gotta scratch your head so nice. and then she will go she'll she'll go, Thank you very much for that. Here's the here's the mold of XP. You complete the quest. <laughs> you gotta rub your girlfriend's head and then she'll like drop all of the stones and then once you've got the stones you can sell them to the nearest merchant and they will give you the bit of spot. You the, sell the all of these stones. If I made the game, my currency will be stones. <laughs> And you can't get the bit of stones. So, hey there guys, welcome back to another update on the Fallout games that are coming out in the next few years. We're getting seven Fallout games, all in 2022. <laughs> and I thought for this episode, oh god, I bring oh on... God, oh my god, oh my god, oh thank fuck. For this episode, I thought I'd bring on my favourite YouTuber, Euraptor, to talk a little bit about what we're getting in Fallout 75. <laughs> Ollie, shut Hello, up! Hello, what we're getting in Fallout 75 is going to be the bit of stones. <laughs> When the release of Assassin's Creed 2 finally rolled around, I put the disc in my console and entered into, for the first time, an experience that I would never, ever forget. It is a good life we lead, brother. <sighs> the best. May it never change. And may it never change us. I, I couldn't stop them, Annette. I'll kill you for what you've done! I tried, I swear. But there were so many guards. You would have done the same to save the ones you love. The Auditori are not dead! I'm still here! Me! Ezio! Ezio Auditori! What are you and your allies planning? Is this what my father discovered? Is this why he was killed? Vota la fina che meritavi! Spero che bro! You are not Fieri. Do not become him. Compio questo sacrificio per il bene superiore. It's been over ten years since I watched my father and brothers die. Ten years hunting the men responsible. So close to the end now, but closer to understanding what any of it was for. When my uncle told me about the Codex, I was too young, too brash to imagine it was anything but an old man's fantasy. But now I see. The killing of Mogenigo. Even the Medici. My father and brothers. It was all part of his plan. Find the vault. We don't need anyone to tell us what to do. We are free to follow our own path. There are those who will take that freedom from us. Too many of you gladly give it. But it is our ability to choose. Whatever you think is true that makes us human. There is no book or teacher to give you the answers. To show you the path. Choose your own way. Do not follow me. Or anyone else. Reale, tutto è lecito. Requiescat in pace. Oh, okay, let's go to the bookshop. Oh, Jesus Christ, chat. Oh, that is a that is a that is a sight to fucking behold. Um, I'm just gonna wait for this to come through. That's super. Doctor Gaming. 
talk to you. You've been de-thinking in the atoms. Doctor Gaming is epic, Doctor Gaming. <laughs> this is the best. Bring peace and joy this Christmas Triggering off all to of my West Africa. Brain. This is great. Doctor Gaming. <laughs> Why is this a thing? What is this? I what is this meme? I'm just like, I'm in the alleyway. Oh, there we go. Okay, we've got everything in Cappadocia. Doctor Gaming. Doctor Gaming. One Drive Gaming. <laughs> Doctor Gaming. Oh my god. Doctor Gaming. One Doctor Gaming. All this fucking Do stay West doing Africa. <clears throat> Why didn't it say it? I would go gay for Doctor Gaming. <laughs> Thank you. I'm go I'm gonna become the Joker. Doctor Gaming. <laughs> this is this is the best. Deep thinking in the atoms. This Doctor gonna... Gaming. <laughs> Doctor Gaming. <laughs> this is so dumb. Ben is a Doctor Gamer for making us laugh. Gamer. I'm going to become the Doctor Gamer. I'm just going to follow the guy with the lantern. What is going Andy on, Andy isn't guys? Doctor Gaming. Jesus Christ. Gaming with Doctor Gaming. Best AC YouTuber. Doctor Gaming and Epstein didn't kill himself. Kitey, do you like me? <laughs> Today we are mattress shopping. No wait, full bed shopping because we um we don't have anything. Oh, but can we get this? Oh look. Absolutely. Thank you. Let's take it now. This pillow. Lots of beds. Oh, what are you doing, Elwood? Don't steal that. <laughs> what are you doing then? I think you've put the pillows in the wrong order. I think you put the pillows in the wrong order. Oh, no, because that's obviously the corner, yeah. you just retard. <laughs> ho, 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 Merry fucking Christmas. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Advent Calendar Day 2. Oh, what's going on today? What's this? What happened, James? Are you okay? I'm better than ever, actually. <laughs> Cute that is. Oh, it feels like Christmas. It feels like Christmas. I love it so much. <laughs> I'm just going to corner unraveling the lights. I actually probably look mental. Tell me when you're ready, and I'll put it in. <laughs> <laughs> Why? I need you to come. Give, give it to me again. Give what? <laughs> Gamer. Oh, it's so cute. Oh, look at that. We've got the bit of stones. I, I don't remember Syndicate looking this. Oh my god, what is going on? What's this, Greeny? Assassin kill myself? Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> he pants her with the voices so and cool and quirky. Why is Jacob just retarded? Find the piece of Eden. Find the piece of Eden. I hate this. What <laughs> I'm sure you can put this to better use here than I comes, can. Oh, what's this, Greeny? Assassin Christmas. <laughs> so the day has finally come. It has been eight years, eight months, and 14 days since I started this channel. And finally, it's arrived. This is absolutely mad. As if this is something that we have presented to lasers for passing 100 thousand subscribers. I'm ah. <laughs> now that's what I call festive. Footy. Hey, we did it. <laughs> what the fuck is that? No, we what don't. Is that? Will I go all out for this one? Yeah, we're gonna make it look right. There's more of a Santa hat though, is it?
Merry Christmas, everybody. We've reached the final day of the advent calendar. This is basically just a bit of a quick video to say Merry Christmas to everybody. I hope you have a really nice day here on Christmas if you celebrate it. Uh, it has been crazy uploading every single day. I don't know how I've managed to do it. It's going to be weird going back to normal where I'm like not conscious of doing it every single day. It's been a really good year. It really, really has. And uh, at least for me anyway. And so I can't wait to go into 2020. More positive and ready to fucking kill it and have a way better year and play Assassin's Creed. Okay, thanks for watching. Thank you all so much for your continued support. I really hope you enjoyed these best bits. You guys have made my 2019 better than it ever could have been. This has been probably the best year I've had for the channel in terms of consistent views, the amount of fun we've had on streams, the subscriber growth, making the content that I want to make, and just outside of my channel as well, you know, as always, my, 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 my life, everything. It's been probably the best year I've had, and a lot of that is down to the amount of support you guys give me on every single thing that I do. This channel would not be where it is without you. I know I make loads of jokes all the time about how, well, it would still be here because it's me that does the work. But honestly, I would not be here without you guys. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for watching the best bits. I'll see you in 2020 for some of the best content that I can possibly produce. I owe you nothing less. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for supporting me. And I hope to see you all back in 2020 and throughout the year. It's going to be a fucking good one. Thank you so much. And I hope you all have a happy new year. Thank you very much. And I'll see you in 2020. Bye-bye.